My point though is that it's important to have friends in your life who can like sometimes call you out on your bullshit and not just tell you what you want to hear and be like, no, you know, break up with that person. He's terrible for you or she's terrible for you or like get your act together. And my friends did that for me and I'm very excited about it. Garrett Watts and Drew Monson, I have an idea for you. And it might also help out a lot of other people with their mental health. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton, a ton of videos, all right? But yeah, anyways, before I jump into that topic, again, a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody who has picked up your copy of Rewire Your Anger. I'm getting a lot of awesome feedback. I love all of you. And just real quick for everybody who's been asking me about the audiobook, I'm still trying to figure that out. Bear with me. I'm hoping to get it out before the end of the year. So stay tuned. But if you want to download the ebook version, it is linked down in the description and in the comments below. So yeah, anyways, I was debating on making a video about Drew Monson, but then I was like, you know what? I should make this video about Drew and Garrett. So some of you saw a video I made about a week or two weeks ago saying that I'm proud of Garrett Watts. I was going to do the same thing with Drew Monson because my man Drew, my boy Drew, has come out with not one, not two, but three videos since his comeback. That is mwah, superb. That's awesome. But those of you who aren't up to date with what's going on, so Garrett Watts um, and Drew Monson, they're buddies. They're also friends with Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams and Morgan and Andrew and all of that. Well, Drew, um, he had a little bit of a hoarding problem and Shane Dawson and friends went over there, helped him clean up his house. And Garrett said one of the reasons he wasn't recording was because of the shape that his house was in. And I tried to have a conversation with you. I tried to, I tried to talk, I tried to make a YouTube video about what I had felt and what I had learned and what the process of having friends intervene in my life and help me with something was like and what it was like to be in this new place. But I didn't understand what it meant yet. Drew Monson, on the other hand, I had a lot of requests to make a video about him. So I made a video about Drew when he came back a couple weeks ago and Drew has come back and he's made three videos so far and they are phenomenal. I love Drew. He's hilarious. Glow stick, glow stick, glow stick, glow stick. What are you doing? What, what is that? Come on! Test. Glow stick, glow stick, glow stick. It's just weird. I'm sorry. Am I the only one who's asked about the glue stick thing? I'm your dentist. I could spank ya. I was kind of looking at him like, dang, dang, Drew's been gone longer than Garrett, but Drew already has some more videos. So today in this video, I wanted to talk about how like having an accountability partner can really help with you to achieve your goals to help with your mental health and all that. Like the big thing is to find somebody who is on the same mission or the same path as you to help you along the way and you could do the same for them. So my experience with this, um, a lot of it comes from my early sobriety. So one of the things that I talked about in my last video about Drew Monson was, I like one of the reasons I give tough love is because I had a lot of people giving me tough love. Like I had people where I wanted to lay in bed and just sulk and not do anything. And they would come and say, yo Chris, get out of bed and we're gonna go do something, right? We're gonna go grab coffee or we're gonna get in the solution or whatever it is. So when I got when I got clean and sober, I was in 12 step programs, right? And like, I'm lazy. Like I don't know about you, but I can be lazy. I can procrastinate but there's this little part of me that's competitive, right? Like if any of you saw my video about how Keemstar made me successful, like this is something that motivates me and drives me. Like I, I, I take that kind of like, you know, people doing better than me and I use that as fuel to better myself. So in 12 step programs, obviously you have steps. There's 12 of them in case you didn't know. But um, my friends, like, they would be, you know, while I was being lazy, they were, like, doing work. They were out there getting a sponsor. They were out there working on their steps. Now, for you, I know not everybody who watches my channel is in recovery, but imagine somebody who's going to therapy and writing in a journal, okay? That's the equivalent. So I saw my friends who were doing this, and then they'd be like, oh, I'm on this step. I'm on that step. Oh, I met with my sponsor this day. And I'm like, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to start working on my steps. I'm going to get a sponsor. So, like... 
that way I was kind of keeping myself accountable just by being in this like kind of quiet competition with them, right? And I actually do that with YouTube. I, I laugh about this with Tristan all the time. So ever since I started on YouTube, I look at other creators and not in a, like a malicious way, it's just something that motivates me personally, but I look at you know what they're doing, how much work they're putting in, what their views are, what their subscribers are, and I turn that into a competition with myself, right? So I'm like, okay, how can I reach what they're at? What, how can I surpass it, you know what I mean? And that's something that motivates me and drives me. So it's something that's not only helped with my sobriety, it's not only something that's helped with my mental health, but it also helps with my career too. So like not only in YouTube, I've done that with other jobs in the past, but the other thing is, is by letting people know my goals and my intentions, it, has, it, it helps them to help me uh, stay accountable, right? So for example, my friends, they'd be like, hey Chris, when was the last time you worked on your steps? Hey Chris, when was the last time you wrote in your journal? Hey Chris, when's the last time you did this, right? Because they knew the goals that I'm trying to achieve, but they would call me out when I'm not trying to achieve them, okay? So when I look at somebody like Drew Monson and Garrett Watts, like they are on this same mission, they are on the same path. They are trying to get their mental health right and do the thing they love, which is creating, right? Which is creating videos, creating content, you know? They love that. So, so in, for them, I don't know if they'll ever see this, all right, but what I would be thinking is that they should keep each other accountable with this. They should be calling each other up and say, hey, you work on a video today? Hey, you work on a video? And like the way that tough love comes in is when one of them gives an excuse, it's like, well, why not? Why not? Why haven't you done it? What have you been doing today that was so important that you didn't work on a video, right? And maybe it's not filming, maybe it's not editing, maybe it's just brainstorming ideas, maybe it's talking to other creators, like doing something, right? And this is extremely beneficial. But since some of uh, both of them kind of struggle with their mental health, it's also good to call each other up and say, hey, how are you doing today? How are you feeling today? Oh, you're feeling down? You don't feel like recording today? Hey, you wanna go grab a cup of coffee? You wanna talk? You just wanna hang out? Like, what do you wanna do? I get so many of you, so many of you who have friends who are struggling with depression or anxiety and you ask me, what, like, what should I do? What should I do? This is one of the best tips I can give you call them up and check in on them, okay? Like, have some kind of like um, uh, uh, mental health buddy where you call and you check in on each other. I remember people told me way back in the day, like, Chris, when you feel the worst about yourself, call somebody else and ask them how they're doing. This is extremely beneficial because if any of you have been around my channel for any length of time, if you've been paying attention, you know how selfish and self-centered we can be as a species, all right? So by calling somebody else, we get out of ourselves, right? We say, oh man, and it puts things into perspective. Um, Teresa from the channel Ivy Muse, um, she does a bunch of book reviews and stuff like that. She just did a, vi a guest video for me the other day and she talks about how reading puts things into perspective for her. Like for me, it's talking to other people. Like when I read your guys' comments and I read your struggles, when I read what's going on, when I'm hearing about your issues, it snaps me back into reality and it helps me be grateful. And then I try to take that gratitude and make videos and put out content and teach you guys how I overcame some of my struggles with mental health or mental illness. So this is one way that Drew and Garrett can kind of go back and forth and help each other and motivate each other, all right? So it could be, um, another thing is, see who can you know get the most content done in a month. Not, not lacking quality, all right? But seeing like, Hey, let's let's both try to get three videos out this month, right? Like don't set a goal way too high, but like this is something that you can all do if you're trying to get in shape or anything like that. But the last thing I wanna talk about, because my videos are for all of you, right? Is this is one of the reasons we have a Facebook group and a Discord server. So like you guys, I love all of you so, so, so much, but y'all DM me way too much. Like I talked to three or four, maybe five of you yesterday. And just so you know, I am a broken record, okay? I will ask you every single time, why aren't you talking to people in the support groups? Why are you not talking to people in the support groups? Why are you not talking to people in the support groups? Like I never, ever, 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 ever want you all to rely on me or my videos. Like you guys, I hate to break it to you, but I can walk outside and get hit by a bus, all right? Like that is something that can happen. This is why I try to encourage having a support system. So if you are not in the Facebook group, if you are not on the Discord server, get in there and start talking to people and linking up with them and setting up these little accountability systems, right? 
right? Like, if you wanna start meditating once a day for 10 minutes a day, find somebody else who wants to do that and check in with each other. Say, yo, did you do your meditation today? Did you do your meditation today? And check in with one another. If you wanna journal every single day or whatever it is, Find somebody else who's interested in that. Like after you turn off this video, go in the Facebook group or the Discord server and find somebody to be your accountability partner, all right? Like you guys, I still do this to this day, okay? I have my beautiful girlfriend Tristan right behind me doing her makeup for her finals, gonna go kill that test. But like I talk to her all the time about like, hey, here's something I wanna do, here's something I wanna accomplish. And I have her call me out on it. And sometimes I get angry at her. but. I like it because she has to call me out. And if you're not getting upset when someone's calling you out on something, something's not going right. So like, <laughs> it's okay to have these emotions, all right? But anyways, like, find an accountability partner. Like, I still need it to this very day, and all of us, like all of you and me, we all need this kind of thing in our life to improve our mental and emotional well-being, all right? So let me know down in the comments below. Let me know down in the comments below. We are coming to the end of the year. 2019 is right around the corner. What do you wanna accomplish in 2019 and how are you going to find somebody to help keep you accountable for it? Let's all have a conversation down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And just a reminder, Rewire Your Anger is out now and the links are down in the description and in the pinned comments, all right? Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.